Did you know the Jalisco New Generations cartel has terrorized Mexico for over a decade? The Jalisco New Generation cartel is far more brutal than its enemies, the Sinaloa and Pablo Escobar's illegal drug cartel. They have a whole army of evil clowns that talk to their rival cartels to their demise and film their horrifying acts. It is hard to believe that this kind of thing could be happening now. Are you afraid of clowns? It might be soon. Popular culture has long portrayed clowns as evil or creepy. This irrational fear may be explained by famous characters such as Stephen King's It or The Joker. What if we were to told you that these clowns exist? This video tells you all about the CJ and G clown. Before we move on, please support us by hitting subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Here is the complete story of Fabian Orbino Morales, his sick clown army and their sadistic clowns. Before we continue, we want to warn you that this video contains graphic images. The story starts with El Mencho, a man who is wild and called Nemesis. He was born on July 29, 1966 in a poor avocado farmer family. He illegally immigrated into the United States in the 1980s. However, he committed too many minor crimes to be deported. He joined the Millennial Cartel, already desensitized and ready to do anything to get quick money. The Millennial Cartel slowly disintegrated into small factions. El Mencho formed his cartel in 2009 under Los Torquidos, or the Twisted Ones. This name may have been more appropriate considering what they did. CJNG is the criminal organization most responsible for the deaths on both sides. The cartel took their fight to a new level, shooting down a helicopter with a rocket-propelled grenade. The DEA currently offers $10 million in reward money for information that leads to an arrest and capture of El Mencho, a Mexican drug kingpin. The CJN cartel, also known as the Jalisco New Generation, is infamous for its violence and brutality in the world of Mexican drug cartels. El Mencho, the highest ranking cartel member, was inspired to militarize the Los Eres structure and took it further by arming thousands of violent men with heavy weapons such as rifles and tanks. In July, footage of CJNG convoy was released. The gunmen, known as the elite group, pledges allegiances to El Mencho. These men are armed with assault rifles, heavy machine guns, and a 50 caliber sniper weapon. They control by instilling terror, kidnapping, and retaining anyone who stands in the way of their rule. Whether rival cartels, police officers, civilians, or even other cartels, they're only interested in money and dominance, and have no respect for life. He doesn't just recruit the worst of Mexico, he also uses military weapons and an organized structure. Fabian Orbino Morales is one of his members. He's also known in Spanish as El Piazzo, or the Cloud. Morales was a clown in the circus. He traded his clown costume for knives, matches, and guns, but kept his mask. Morales was a member of the Los Metros Cartel. The smaller group is part of the Gulf Cartel and operates out of Reynosa, near the Texas border. He rose quickly through the ranks of Los Metros, bringing a whole new level of psychopathic violence into the gang. Morales, his henchmen, and their accomplices all wear clown masks when they commit horrifying acts. Morales was promoted to captain after he burned rival cartel members in gasoline drums. This act impressed El Mencho, who praised Morales for his bravery. CJNG has now become the second largest cartel in Mexico behind only the Sinola cartel, led by El Chapo. They are a very dangerous criminal organization, their methods of violence and influence continue to grow. CJNG, a notorious drug cartel in recent years, for its brutality is a group that deals with drugs. CJNG began with avocados, which is interesting. CJNG began as avocados farmers in Jalisco, Mexico. They then moved on to produce chemical precursors for drugs like fentanyl. Elemento trusted Bobby and Morales so much that Elemento encouraged him to continue wearing their terrifying masks. CJNG wanted to cause as much suffering as possible. Morales was one of the leaders of Miguel Fernandez's criminal organization, LM2, and lieutenant of the CJNG's region. His most evil side? El Mento encouraged him. Morales was soon one of the Mexico's most infamous real-life monsters. In the early 2000s, a problem emerged. Cartel members could upload videos of the most brutal acts as they committed and filmed them. This sends out a clear message. Don't mess with us. This was a warning to rival cartels and anyone watching. Watching these videos will only harm your mental health, honestly. Watching something like this is not a good thing. If you enjoy the content, please take a moment to like it and subscribe. What's next will be shocking. Warning, graphic content ahead. If you do not want to see the cartel video, skip ahead for a few minutes. The infamous Squiro Agua video is still being determined whether Fabian Morales or his evil henchman made it. 
CJNG clowns kidnapped a rival cartel member in the video. This is most likely an ex-member of La Familia. The victim's identity has not been revealed. The video starts with a flipped up face of a man inches from death after the evil clowns have already removed the skin from his body and face. This is not the only blood-curling part of the video that shows Morales' gang's true nature and brutality. The CJNG men mocked their victim and laughed at his suffering. The men repeatedly asked if he needed water. Imagine having to speak without a facial expression. The man is in obvious pain and wants to die. The clowns continue to taunt him and keep him alive as long as possible. The clowns are amused by his raspy voice. It's difficult to understand how people can laugh at a horrific scene in a movie and still do it to another person. How many things would have to go wrong before someone ended up like this clown? Fabian Morales, one of the leaders of this change, was finally arrested in October of 2019. Why is Fabian Morales not in custody? One of the leaders in CJNG, arrested in October of 2019, has been blatantly exposing his guns and posting videos of torture and death. The CJNG staged a massive ambush against the police, which resulted in the deaths of 13 officers. It was the first attack by the CJNG on police officers, and they killed over a dozen people in one day. The police took advantage of the ambush to launch their operations. McCarkin police launched a massive sting operation in January of 2020 on the CJNG. Interestingly enough, they captured El Paeso and a few of his henchmen. It was the same sting that took the life of La Catrina. She was one of the ones who gave the order to the October ambush. And the McCarkin police had a recording in which she ordered the hit. LA Catrina's died of her injuries in the helicopter as she was transported to the hospital. However, Fabian Morales and his evil clowns could not say the same. They were taken to jail and the news of their arrest was reported throughout Mexican Fabian. Morales, alias El Paeso, is in prison. It's unlikely that he will be released or escape. The CJNG, responsible for one third of all the drugs that enter the United States via land and sea, is on the verge of being labeled a terrorist group. Some prominent newspapers claim that the war on drugs has peaked and violence will not stop. You can even argue that cartels currently control the government, creating chaos for local politicians to negotiate. I worry that this is happening in Mexico and not only in movies. Will the cartel stop there? What will it take for it to stop? Share your thoughts in the comment section below.